guys welcome back to my channel my name is Katie if you're new here pardon the face I just took a shower and I just had my 5k benchmark that I did this morning so obviously had to shower after that and in the next hour I'm going to get ready and Tanner and I are going to go into the city to go run a few errands and have an early birthday celebration for because my birthday is on Tuesday next week. So we're going to do a little early celebration. And so he's taking the dogs out while I just finished getting ready here. But my 5k benchmark today, it wasn't as good as I was hoping for it to be. But I still PR'd, I PR'd by 30 seconds, and I felt way stronger than I did the last 5k benchmark I did back in mid-November. Um, if you haven't seen that vlog, I had that, I had that 5k benchmark, and I started off very strong, and my pace slowed a full minute by the last mile and I was just exhausted and destroyed and this time I held the same pace the first two miles as I did the last benchmark in November um, but I felt stronger and I was able to hold it better the last mile I did still get tired and I did still slow down but instead of slowing down to like um, by like a full minute, it was only like 30 seconds or so, hence me PRing by 30 seconds. So that's an improvement. So I'm very happy with that. Although I was hoping to just totally crush it because from what I have kind of come to learn is I am a perfectionist when it comes to like running and my like athletic ability when it comes to running and it bothers me when I don't do something the right way or when I don't do something the way I anticipate it going but that's okay I'm not training for a 5k this was simply to reestablish my pacing zones um, for marathon training and to see if I improved and how much I improved if so so that's that was the whole point behind the 5k benchmark testing so my coach is going to take a look at those results and my heart rate along with that and kind of see how i've improved and we'll go from there so we should be getting some results probably by tomorrow i haven't put makeup on like officially i've done like a teeny bit here and there but since um really christmas 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 time I put I was putting makeup on and uh, haven't really had anywhere to go since then so it's kind of fun for me but I'm also kind of stressed because we need to leave here in like an hour I still gotta do my hair but I think the plan for today is Tanner's getting a haircut and I need to pick up a racing bib for one of my races um for one of my nine plus one races uh to qualify for the 2025 new york city marathon so i've got a race next week that i'm going to be running in um i'm not like racing for time i'm just racing just to get the qualification points so yeah and so I got to pick up a bib for that, which is kind of out of the way, but that's okay. And then Tanner and I are going to 
I f I am horrible with pr pronouncing things, so excuse me if I pronounce this wrong, but we're going to La Mercerie for dinner tonight for a little early birthday dinner. And it's apparently this really good French restaurant and I've come to learn that I really, I'm a big fan of French. French Tanner's parents, when they've come to New York, they've really loved this place and they've been multiple times and they highly recommended it. So Tanner booked a reservation for us to go and it was supposed to be a surprise, but he accidentally spoiled it, which is okay. Um, but uh, So I'm excited about that. And that's today at 5.30, so we've got some time. It's 12 o'clock right now. Bib, clo big pi bib pickup closes at 2.30, so that's mainly why we're rushing. And if we don't get it today, that's fine. It's just, I want to get it out of the way because it's a pain to pick up, as I said. I'm going to finish doing my makeup and I will pop back on here, show you my outfit probably. Uh, when we're about to go. Okay, outfit of the night. You'll notice that it's the same base. The pants and the black long sleeve and the belt. Because it's comfy and it's really all I have for like nice, like winter, like base layer. Anyway, got these coach shoes. And then the star of the show today is this leopard coat from J. Crew that I got in like 2019. So figured we'd break it out today. Tanner's look, we've got Lululemon, Lululemon stance, and my favorite shoes ever, the Kohan. For boys, not for me, not my purse. Got a little boy. Little boy. All right. Let's get this schnur on the road. We've got the makeup done too. And the hair. Where is, where is your ID? Uh, in my purse. Got a tongue Lulu. So uh, fruits coated in sugar. Interesting. That looks so good. Is it hard? Oh, interesting. I don't know. What the heck is this thing? What's that? That is apparently a popcorn. Mm -hmm. No, it's a lot of Tanner got his hair cut. Looks Fine good. If you're asking. Ooh, ooh, that looks good. I'm happy. <laughs> So as you saw, we went out to dinner and we just got back and I wanted to show you the little um, like little birthday dessert we got while we were there. And so Tanner got a creme brulee because that's his like favorite dessert or one of his favorites. Well, to start, we went to La Mercerie for dinner, which is a French restaurant in like the Soho area. And I guess one of the things that they're known for is their like chocolate chip cookies. So I had like every intention to get a cookie like for my dessert while we were there. And I saw on the menu that they had like a signature cookie that you can get and then like get it personalized. So obviously I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna pick the cookie for dessert. That's so that's what I ordered. and. My fault for not even asking. I assumed it was just going to be the chocolate chip, but it wasn't. It was actually um, a butter cookie, I believe. So, and it's from like their Valentine's Day 
I guess, theme thing. So it looks like this. It's a very big one. There's like two in there. And then there was like a little smaller one as well. That's the one I had for my dessert, but really cute. That's the little dessert thing. They had a candle on it for my birthday. That's what I got. So I thought I'd show you that because I don't think, I don't think we filmed it. Anyway, we're home, we picked up some packages and um got some bandit socks for being a member they look so big i don't know if these are gonna fit me i have really small feet but we've got some black ones i really like bandit running gear i just started getting into them and it's like a brooklyn based company which is really cool since we live in brooklyn and then we've got some stickers which I really like. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I really like the stickers. Bandit gear. I have a couple of shirts from them. And they're very good quality. And if you're a member, um, you get like a discount on their products and stuff. So this is what I got as like a free member gift. You get like two pairs of black socks. So thought I'd show you that because we're under running here and I'm excited about that. I'm going to get unready and Tanner and I are going to, I think, play a video game, which I'll show you guys. Because it's really fun and it's like my type of video game. Um, but dinner is really good. Dinner was really good. Uh, I think it's like on par, if not like a level above Claudette, which is like, I think my favorite restaurant here in New York, also a French restaurant. So it's really crazy that I'm really into French food, but I think that's like one of my favorites actually. So French is where it's at. <laughs> shopping day. Tanner and I are going to go to Target and Trader Joe's to stock up on some weekly items and see what other trouble we get ourselves into. What would it be? I don't know. Maybe just a plain shirt. Uh, it just has like a, a different flavor. Well that would make sense though. So we're getting it at this food hall right next to Trader Joe's. There's like a big food hall in here. So we got like teriyaki, kibachi type grill stuff. Looks good. Yeah. Let's do a little grocery haul, shall we? Got lots of stuff today. Went to Trader Joe's and Target. Start. Got more eggs. Pasture-raised. Best kind. Mushrooms. Shredded kale. Butter lettuce. Broccoli. This is good because you can just steam it in the bag, which makes it easy. Zucchini. And just, what is this? Spring lettuce mix, oh baby lettuce mix. We got some Trader Joe's Green Goddess dressing, one of my favorite dressings. Got some brown turkey, pack of brown rice. They didn't have any of the jasmine, so we just got one of those. And then got a tub of yogurt. I like to make like protein yogurt bowls. 
I don't know. I've never tried that yogurt before, but since we we're at Trader Joe's, they don't have lots of yogurt options. This is a new Trader Joe's item, the mini mochi rice nuggets. So here, pick that up to try. These are back, the triple ginger pretzels. I tried these on my birth birthday vlog last year, and I remember them being very gingery, but they were nice. A bunch of these pretzel slims. These are still very hard to find, and I guess Tanner got like three of the last five or something like that. Uh, soyaki, teriyaki sauce, aglio olito, minced garlic, sea salt, parsley, red pepper, red chili pepper, and safflower oil. I like pastas. Got some apples. Hey guys. This is what's going on while I'm filming. And it's a beautifully sunny day outside. So nice out. Makes me excited for spring. This is their little treat that we got them for being good so it's cute it's a little sweet cream flavored dental stick hey guys let's give it to them hey you guys want to try something now they're excited yeah mommy and daddy got you a treat hey can we sit Curry, this is yours. Hey. Curry always steals Vader's. Crew. Curry. Vader, here you go. Have that one. She always steals Vader's. Cruella. You can't have both. Here you go, buddy. Good boy. Eat yours, Curry. I think they like it. Now I have to sit here and guard them while they eat that. So while they're doing that, and I'm waiting here guarding them. I'm getting a little warm. I'm still wearing this, but I need to take that off. But I did a new like makeup look today that I saw like on TikTok, like a new way to do your makeup. And I tried it out. And not only was it like very like nice like to apply, like an application method, but I think it looks nice. So um, I will do that one day when I do my makeup. I'll show you what I did, but yeah, I kind of like it. You're being good. Look how sunny it is. It's so nice. Blue skies. We haven't had like blue skies in the past, like, I think it was nine days they said. It was sunny yesterday too though. But. Let's continue on now that they're done. These are new too. Are, these, are they called palmiers? Yes. Okay. They're uh, caramel palmiers. So Tanner got those to try apparently. Those are good as well. Orzo. Orzo's an underrated pasta style. It's very good. More apples. And then Tanner got these Thai wheat noodles to go with the soyaki. Little switch up, change up, something new to try. Picked out some conversation hearts, some tiny ones. And you gotta let me know if you are a fan of conversation hearts because I think they're the absolute worst thing in the world. Always hated them. They were like the worst thing to ever to ever receive in like a Valentine's Day thing. Hate them. They taste like icky chalk. Um, Tanner got some primes. He's still not sponsored. He's sad, so lots of different primes and some Alani's for work. Cheez Its, a fave of the Ebert household. In the Ebert household. We've got Cinnamon Life and Strawberry Frosty Mates, Peanut Butter Filled Pretzels. Um, of this yogurt. This is the Oikos Pro. I normally get the Oikos Triple Zero, but they had this today in vanilla, so I decided to get that. Kind of like these pretzel sticks from Trader Joe's. So we got a few of those. Like having just like a protein bar around, so Misfits, that's one of my favorites. And then last but not least, we've got 
itty bitty potatoes. We cooked up some potatoes as you saw last night or two nights ago. So we're gonna do potatoes a little more often. Oh, and then the star of the show, since it's my birthday on Tuesday, I wanted to get flowers and Tanner found these really pretty pink ones because I wanted pink flowers. And I was sad when we walked in there because in the flower section, they didn't have any tulips and I was thinking they just didn't have any. And then as we were walking to the checkout, they had like a separate stand for just the tulips. And then we were able to find these pretty flowers. So, I'm very excited. I'm gonna put these in a vase. I'll throw everything in it away from the grocery haul. They're tiny? No! I wonder how tiny they are. You know? Well, no matter what, when you buy flowers, you need to trim the, the base. Well, I know. I just, I'm not really good at the uh, stripping them of their leaves. You like me too? Yeah, you can. Because last time I stripped them of their leaves, like, I nearly took out their stem. They really just, like, liven up the place. And they're, like, the most perfect color pink, too. Yeah, those ones are. You guys want to come on a walk with us? Don't invite them. Tanner doesn't want you guys to come. You're not invited. You're coming. And anytime we sit at the table, he always asks to get in someone's lap. It's a bad habit, but it's cute. It's cute. It's really cute. Nearly three o'clock. And first of all, look how clean the apartment is. Vader's all staticky. Look at his ear. Are you all staticky? Look at those ears. <laughs> look at your ear hair. It's all sticky. Look at it. He shocked you. I don't want to shock you. You're all staticky. He just pushes his head into you. Hi. My little boy. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize we weren't done cuddling. Anyway, I've been working all day. Today is the first day officially off of one level of training so it's just been pretty busy it's been kind of stressful <laughs> got a meeting here in the next like 30 minutes or so 20 minutes i guess and tanner's mom just texted me saying that she is having some slices of cake sent over for my birthday tomorrow and what's funny about that is and it's supposed to be delivered here in the next like probably 20 minutes <laughs> But what's funny about that is Tanner was literally going, going to go to the exact same like bake shop today after work to like pick up something for my birthday and now he doesn't have to and apparently they didn't communicate so just it's funny. We did a lot of cleaning yesterday so it might not look like it but we have the table clean. I was using this as like a tripod. But we got the table clean. Kuri went to the bathroom on our duvet cover last night. So this needs to go to like a laundromat. That's all clean. We've got the cutest little dogs. And then this needs to go back to the basement. <laughs> this is a kind of a different story, but I did, I promise you, spend a lot of time cleaning yesterday. Put away all the Lancome stuff that was sitting there. Believe it or not, it is clean. What is this? So I'm going to finish off today. Got two more hours of work. I guess gotta go get 
the cupcake thing when it gets delivered and do Pilates. It arrived, so like perfect timing. Got a meeting in 15 minutes. Let's see what it all, what it looks like. The little cupcake bake shop. Ooh, okay, okay. This is what they look like. You know, let's do it like this. This is better. Look at that. So this is red velvet, my favorite. And then this is a strawberry shortcake. I guess they, I'll show you. So they made Taylor Swift a strawberry shortcake for her um, Midnight's album release. So that's this one. And we are very big Taylor Swift fans. So we obviously need to try the famed strawberry shortcake. So that's really exciting. And really awesome that Tanner's mom thought of like the same the same bake shop that we were actually planning on getting something from oh i need to send her a picture dogs are walked i made a wrong turn so they got a so they got a little bit longer of a walk than i anticipated but that's okay it's so nice because it is it's light out later now so like usually the past couple months 3 30 rolls around and it's like basically dark outside and now 5 15 still very bright it's so nice it makes me so excited for spring should prep the dogs dinner and make my own i think we're going to do the oh my gosh we're fuzzy and we're gonna do the sweet Italian chicken sausage again with some brown rice. We need to get the dog. <laughs> you know, I thought a crew would be to have a I think she is about to. Do you think this one could do anything? Oh! Vader does not like. <laughs> Good boy! What? It's, it's not real. Good boy! Come here! Vader, it's okay. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> Bring it close to us. Yes. Good boy. You want to sniff it? Sniff it. See, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Gooey. You can play with the balloons, but no barking. Gooey's <laughs> like unfazed by it. She's a brave girl. She really is. She's just like, I just want to chew on these. You notice there's some hearts in there too? That's cute. You said it was a, a pink theme. It is so pink. A multitude of different pinks, including hearts. And I figured, you know, a dinosaur. We like dinosaurs. <laughs> talking it over with Stephanie yesterday and I was in this big debate whether or not I should work because Tanner went to the office today should I work or take a half day and just like relax because we're in training nothing too much is going on and I was talking over Stephanie and we determined I should take a half day take the morning off have it laid back and then that way I can do my run, shower, everything in peace without being rushed. And I think like overall I would be a lot happier if I took the morning off as opposed to just like pushing through the day. So that's what we're doing. 7.40. Oh, and my watch. My watch. Isn't it cute? It says happy birthday. It's a fun thing to wake up to. So I made breakfast, made some oatmeal with banana. 
And then Tanner for like a little sweet treat, like thing, little taste at the end. And like a treat throughout the day and the week and everything. But um, Tanner also picked up a Magnolia Bakery bread pudding for me. And I've tried the red velvet one, but I haven't tried the like classic. So I'm excited and I kind of wanted to taste it after my actual breakfast. Um, Cause I am actually really excited to see what that tastes like. I'm gonna eat breakfast, but Tanner left for work not too long ago and he had me open his gifts for him. So one was the surprise of the bread pudding. And then another was a Lululemon gift card so I can get a like race day outfit for my marathon. Also a mini Polaroid camera with film. So we got a white one and a black one, like border, a white border and a black border. And this is perfect because obviously it's very small. I've got small hands too. And we could put this in a purse and take it around the city and get cool pictures. So it was a surprise gift, but we've had a few opportunities where we've had our photo taken with a Polaroid camera and they're always so cute and they're so fun. So that's a fun surprise and I'm excited to take some pictures with it. And they're fighting back there. Next plan of the day, I literally just sat on the couch scrolling through TikTok and I kind of started watching um, my last birthday vlog from last year, which as uneventful as, as that was, it's pretty eventful compared to this year so far. Put my contacts in and prep for a run. I've got a 50 minute easy run today and my coach wants me to include stairs in that. So we are going to do some exploring. I guess do a new route, find some stairs. So I'm kind of glad I decided to take the morning off so far because the fact that today is pretty chill makes me sad. So like just not having to work helps a lot. I'm also like pretty anxious this morning for some reason. So this run should hopefully help leave some of that and the shower after. So I'm excited to get that taken care of. And usually if I work, especially since right now it's stressful because I don't necessarily know what I'm doing, um, it would just add to that anxiety little chilly out it's like 32 and it feels like i think 26 it said got our base layer on the lululemon swiftly we've got these wool bandit running socks Let's keep the toesy warm i think we're just gonna go the tried and true nike why mess with a good thing for my birthday we celebrated we celebrated my birthday last night with Tanner's family over FaceTime and his brother got me a new pair of running sunglasses and so I've got running sunglasses already but they're like the Oakley ones that look like intense racer sunglasses which I loved they're great but I don't always want to be like if I put them on, I look like I'm intense and I don't, I just want like a relaxing, chill look. So lately, um, when I don't want that, I've been tending to gravitate towards Tanner's running sunglasses, um, that I wore on, I think Saturday's vlog or something. I don't know, but I wore his a few times the past couple weeks. Because they're way more laid back. So I asked for a pair myself. These are the Gooder brand and I just got plain black ones. So they are a lot more relaxed, which is awesome. You don't need to be looking like we're running super, super fast all the time. Let's get our headband on and this. <laughs> Here we 
have Krui, a chocolate thief who jumps on the kitchen table, pulls a chocolate bar, a dark chocolate bar I might add, off the air fryer as well as a Liege waffle and some lip gummies for a snack for her invader while I was on my run. So she is under watch considering they ate maybe 15 to 22 grams of 70% dark chocolate today. And I don't know if they shared, if Vader had it all, or if Kruy had it all, which is what we're really worried about because she's the smaller of the two. And I've got work here starting up in the next 15 minutes. And I was going to shower when I got home but then I walked in on the disaster that was all the candy and the chocolate being gone. So I texted Tanner. I guess he's supposedly on his way home because he doesn't know. We don't really know what to do. Dark chocolate's kind of scary with dogs. So working on uh, exactly figure out what we need to do with that while keeping an eye on them. I don't know if I showed you all that well, but here's the dinosaur balloon Tanner got me last night. Took it on the subway, and then these balloons have since fallen, and Cree, Cree likes them. So I didn't get my smoothie either because, honestly, I came home and I was devastated and scared and very sad. I didn't order a smoothie, wasn't very hungry. I did have toast since, it's been like an hour. So I'll give you an update. The run was really nice though. The run, my anxiety that I was having this morning, um, it went away, so that was good. The run was good. We did stairs, so that kind of forced a different route, which made it go by quick. Um, but then, you know, anxiety gone, all happy, ready to take a shower, order a smoothie, come home, and that did not happen, but it's all gonna be okay. But anyway, just wanted to keep you updated. Here's to 29. We're starting off strong. Finally got my shower in, and my face is all red from the hot water. Dogs are good. Yeah, now it's just a relaxing night. Called my parents, spoke with them. Um, I think we're going to order sushi for dinner, play a game, Tanner offered me a massage, I'm so lucky. So it's just going to be a really chill night, which I'm okay with, I feel clean, we're going to have the cake, all's, all's well in the world, especially since my dogs are going to be okay, which is most important. Sushi too? It's probably yours. Oh, dang it. I but, ordered it the wrong way. How'd you order it the wrong way? Oh, I got it in the thing instead of aside. Oh, like they were crispies? Yeah. Look, there you go. That's special. Okay. <laughs> it is too bad that second one got <laughs> fuzzy. We got a Cruella piece. You guys each have a pu um, a game piece. We're gonna play some villainous with the new little Disney characters. Peep says. Yeah, and Tanner's gonna be whatever this guy is. Pete. Pete. This guy. What's his name? Pete. Pete. No, I'm being Cruella. 